Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks and you're checking out a Logic Pro X tutorial video for ADSR sounds. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about some of the new updates that were rolled out with Logic Pro X 10.2.1, specifically for drummer and the drum kit and the drum machine designer inside of Logic X. I did another video covering some of the general updates that were released inside of 10.2.1. There's a bunch of them, so I'm not gonna cover things in uh, videos like general stability and performance-oriented updates, but just the main kind of cool features that make producing and mixing a little bit easier. All right, so the drummer, the drum kit design, if you don't know what that is, we'll actually do, do this from scratch. Um, so let me delete this, and let me play this little section of this track I have right here. All right, so it's like a uh, pop R&B type track, right? And I have some drums that I did in Machine, but we're gonna mute those and we're gonna try to add in some drums using the uh, drum machine and drummer track. So I'm gonna go to track, I'm gonna click new drummer track, Logic will do its thing. And you'll get this orange drummer kind of uh, integrated morphable loop that you can create. All right, well right now it's set to rock. Now this isn't a rock song, so this is gonna sound weird to have this type of kit. All right, so let's go see if we can find some different genres. Alternative, songwriter, R&B, electronic, and hip hop. Let's try R&B. This is kind of an R&B track. It's gonna ask me if I wanna change drummer, and I do. Let's listen to this. I like that groove, but I don't like the sounds because if we click on this, it's coming from an acoustic kit. Now, if this was a 1990s slow jam, this would work for a, um, you know, kind of an R&B track, but for the current sound, you usually have more processed or analog style drums, not necessarily coming from a drum kit. So this this is a little, uh, a little wrong. So I don't want to necessarily use that. Okay, so let's go to one, either the electronic or hip hop. Let's do the hip hop one, and we'll do more Reese. All right, so that's a cool groove. I kind of like that. We'll roll with that. But let's say I wanted to change out the samples. Let's say I don't like the kick and I don't like the snare. Well, how would I do that? In previous versions of the drum machine, what you'd have to do is you'd have to open up the drum machine, click on the first sample. So we're on page two, so we're gonna go to kick one. And you'll see over here, it says ultra beat. If I click on snare, it says UB56. Well, what the drum machine is, is it's basically a nice new skin for ultra beat. I don't know why it was done like that instead of something just independent, but they kept it inside of Ultrabeat, which is a little bit silly in my opinion. But anyway, you can go to Ultrabeat, and then this is the kick. Okay, so that's what's going on with this. It's actually redirecting to Ultrabeat. Well, if you wanted to change out samples in previous versions of the drum machine designer, like you didn't like the kick or you didn't like the snare, you'd have to actually do it in Ultrabeat. You'd have to drag and drop the samples into Ultrabeat. Not so anymore. You can actually just drag and drop on the cells themselves, which is amazing if you want to use this, this uh, tool. Okay, so I'm gonna move my window open and let's listen to the kick and snare. I really like that tom. That's an amazing tom sample, but... Let's get rid of that uh, clap and let's actually get a snare in there. So you can just drag and drop. There it is. All right, not a particularly good one for this specific sound, so let's find another one. That's kind of a cool, really nice uh, vintage sounding snare. So let's get the hi-hats in. All right, 
I don't like that hi-hat, so let's go change out that hi-hat. We'll find a closed one here. All right, that one could be kind of cool. Drag this in. So that is an amazing up update to the uh, drummer, the drum kit designer, because you can just drag and drop things in and you can actually change your sounds. So this will only work with the R&B and the electronic, I'm sorry, the electronic and hip hop drum, drum, the drummer modes, because those are actually using the drum machine. If you use R&B or you use uh, the singer songwriter or the rock or any of that, you're using the drum kit and you cannot drag and drop things into the drum kit for that. So let's talk about a cool feature that they actually included with this. Let's say you just wanted to build something from scratch. Well, you can click on any of the, either of the hip hop or the electronic drummers. And if you open up your, your uh, library tab over here, there's actually now an empty kit. So let's, let's look at this. If we go to the drum machine and I click on, we'll do deep tech for instance, or what, let's say that's what we loaded up. You'd go here and you click on empty kit. Uh, and it will, you'll still turn off some of the different effects. And now if we go to the drum machine designer, everything's empty. So now what you can do, like we just talked about, you can drag and drop things in that you want. So let's find a kick, for instance. You know, there you go. There it is. So those are two really nice updates to the drum machine designer and the correlating corresponding drummer tracks. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. It's going to, I think it makes it using that a lot easier if you're scratch tracking or maybe you don't have machine or battery or another dedicated drum sampler that you like using. This actually brings it into the, that world because now you can really easily use your own custom samples and sounds, which helps when you're going for your own type of sound with your own productions. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.